G'day guys. Today we're going to be learning how to back up your data with DMailer Online. DMailer Online is an online based storage system for both DMailer Sync and DMailer Backup. What this means is you can back up your files and information via the internet. So this has a couple of advantages. One is it means you don't have to carry around a USB stick or portable device. Second is you'll have a second backup by using dmailer online with either dmailer sync or dmailer backup so if for some reason you lose your usb stick or the files become unrecoverable you'll have a second backup that will basically make your backup plan bulletproof so it's definitely something worth having so today we're going to learn how to back up your data with dmailer online using dmailer sync you can use dmailer backup as well but for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to be using dmailer sync so what you need to do is open up dmailer sync and on the left hand side on the screen there'll be a create account just click that enter in your email address and then a secure password make sure you write it down or remember it because um, this will hold all your information or access to your information and then read the end user license agreement once you've done that you can accept and then create the account once it's created you can select which files you would like to back up so for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to be backing up a couple of photos and some music so I'll just unselect that make sure start online backup automatically is selected and because I'm backing up music and pictures I'm going to select the pictures and music filters and once that's done you can hit OK and then dmailer online will automatically log in for you and start transferring your files from your computer to the external server Okay, so it's done. You can click OK, or if you if you like, you can view the progress to see what was uploaded, and you can click OK. Now, to verify that the files are actually there, or if you just would like to check them out, you can hit the Access Online Account button over here. And then hit Browse. Alright, so we located my profiles. And here are the two folders, so the music and the pictures. And there we are. So if you want to download the files for a particular reason, uh, all you need to do is select the file you wish to download and then hit save. That's, that's how you upload your your files to dmailer online so we can close that if you wish to add more files to dmailer online all you have to do is hit the online backup settings and then reselect the folders that you wish to upload and once again make sure the file extensions filters is correct according to the files you wish to back up so yes that's that's dmailer online you'll have to make note that currently the dmailer online account you're using is only a trial dmailer online is a subscription based service so to continue using dmailer online you can choose to upgrade to the three either three of these accounts it costs six dollars a year for three gigabytes of data which is a fair bit for if you're only uploading documents and a small amount of photos 
Uh, 30 gig is obviously a lot bigger. It, it's $35 a year. And you can get an unlimited account if so if you have a, a lot of files to back up for seventy dollars a year. So this is it's fairly reasonable priced and it's well worth it if it prevents a disaster. So having a second backup is is definitely a plus. So it's something worth considering and it integrates very well with both Dmailer Sync and Dmailer Backup. So, yeah, something worth considering. Anyway, I hope this tutorial has helped you. And if you have any questions or problems, just leave a comment below. Oh, and another thing, if you wish to read a bit more about Dmailer Online's features, I've left an, a link in the description box of a review of Dmailer Online. So if you just want to get a bit more background information, just head over there and check out the article and it should fill you in on everything you need to know. Alright, till next time, we'll see you then.